Hello, in this video I'm going to show you another feature of Dutwin Pro, the path editor. Let's start by hiding the logo, which was here just to be nice. And let's create a cube. Now we will want to move this cube on a linear path for a start. Let's add the Dutwin, Dutwin path component. And if I keep shift control pressed in this scene, I will be drawing waypoints. If I keep shift alt pressed and select a waypoint, I'm gonna delete them, as you can see. Let me add them back. Now, I'll set the duration to something a little high. If I press play, you will see that my cube will move along the waypoints that I created in using straight segments between each waypoint. Now, I can set the ease, like with all twins that you create. Let's set it to linear. Let's set now loops to infinite loops. Restart is OK. And let's change this path to Catmulrom. This is a type of curved path, as you can see. We can close the path, in which case it will just join the starting point, which is the object from which we started the path. And I have other options, which are, for example, local movement, which will twin the local position of my transform instead of its position. I can uh, choose the path mode, the lock rotation. I can orient my object to the path itself, to another transform or to a given position that I choose. Let's, for example, select two path. And here it goes. It will move along the closed path that we, cre we created with infinite loops, because we set those, with a constant speed, because we chose a linear ease, and it will orient itself to the path while moving. We, these other options uh, are relative, with which we can actually, if you check it out now, if I drag the original object, it drags around, but the original waypoints are not touched. If I set this to relative, and I drag it, all the waypoints will move with it. A big happy family. Uh, the color is uh, just the color of the path, how it's drawn, it's just for a visual cue, nothing else. Show indexes uh, shows the indexes. A live preview is just in case of performance. If you have uh, tons of waypoints, you might, might want to uncheck this so that the path is redrawn only when you actually leave a waypoint. If, with live preview on instead, it's drawn in real time. You usually can leave it on without any problems. Handles type, free are these little circles, full are uh, precision handles. Orthographic is the handles mode by default, uh, but if you want to have a, an additional visual cue, you can set it to perspective. And as you see, they will show you better which one is behind uh, which other one. Finally, uh, you can change the waypoints manually. Here I could press 5, I can drag them around, and uh, if I play it, it will uh, just play again. Okay, I see the path here because I have the gizmos activated. If I deactivate them, they will not be visible anymore. Now, one last option that I want to show you is that uh, uh, the path system of Dutwin is actually made in a smart way so that you can control it with uh, the new UI's uh, buttons. Let's, for example, set this path not to autoplay. So when I press play, nothing will happen because autoplay was off. I want it to start when I press a button. Let's also remove the delay and let's create a simple button button let's move it a little downward we will call this button start path twin and then we use the on click event we add a new event we add the cube which has the twin path component attached as a target and now that we added this inside the functions we will find twin path and various functions which all start with do like dotwin, so they're easy to find, and we will choose do play. Now if I press play, nothing happens until I press this button. There are other options, other methods that you can choose from the on-click event, like for example let's choose do toggle pause. 
This will, be, will alternatively toggle the play and pause state of your target depending on, it car on its current uh, state, like pressing it one, play, pressing another one, press it again, pause. Pause, play, pause, play. I will repeat this 10 more times. And okay, I want. That's it. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.